Hello everyone. I am making this video to prove that it is very possible to connect, that's correct, an old school Nintendo Wii rock band guitar to an iPad and make music. Now everybody knows that with USB to iPad is very easy, it's very simple. And if you have the right adapters, 5-pin MIDI to USB is actually pretty easy. But what I tried to do was I tried to use this M-Audio Uno, which is a MIDI out and in 5-pin, which I have plugged into the side here of my guitar. And it goes to this device, which converts this to USB, which I have going into an Apple camera connection kit which is going into my iPad mini. So we're gonna see if this works, okay? I have power, as you can see. This does require batteries. They're pretty easy to find. It's a nice little, a lot of people don't know that the guitar uh, for Rock Band is actually a MIDI output device. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in to some of these apps here. Start with the Korg M1. Let's see if it works. I know it, or I already know it works, so spoiler alert. Pull up a cool patch. How about some brass? Dual horn, how about that? Works like a charm. So that's the uh, Korg. Let's try it with Alchemy. Alchemy Mobile. What? Alchemy may slow down your iPad. What's that mean? It's loud. Yeah, it totally works. Totally. Let's try it with uh, GarageBand. Everybody likes GarageBand, so let me find it on here. Where is my GarageBand? There it is. GarageBand. Let's do with a uh, drum set. Drummer. There we go. What? Oh. This is the octave button. So that totally works. Let's come up here to some keyboard instruments. Uh, let's do some warming waves. Sounds good. great so yeah you can totally use a simple m audio uno usb i mean excuse me midi to usb adapter with the ipad and yes the lightning port does provide enough power to supply power to the actual uh, adapter and of course this already has batteries so you don't really need any separate power for that so yeah i can tell my mom it works and i know she'll be happy because we were worried about that. She actually has a Kurzweil at her church that uh, is kind of old. It doesn't have a USB MIDI output. And it has standard MIDI 5-pin, uh, which is now considered kind of old school for a, 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 new, a newer device. But uh, she'll be glad to know that it totally works. And I'm very happy about this. I could not get it to work with my Yamaha um, S90XS. And I think that's because the Yamaha sends more messages than just note on, note off. It, it also sends some other messages behind the scene. And I think maybe that confuses the MIDI device. So I'm thinking if you have a keyboard that does that, there might be a setting where you can turn off other uh, MIDI messages. But for now, this one works great. So I know in practice, this totally works. Isn't that awesome? I'm so happy. Good job, Drew.